Let's go straight back to East Belfast and Kevin. Hello, Noel. Noel, I just want uh, to really bring you uh, an update on that last conversation that I had with you. And uh, we expect Nomi Long to actually be declared the winner here in East Belfast, and that's expected to happen uh, within the next five to ten minutes. We okay. understand that uh, she has outpolled Peter Robinson by about 1,500 votes. That's a major upset, a major shock, uh, but it looks like Naomi Long has done enough to shade it, and she will be the new MP for East yeah, Belfast. No. Thank you. Right, Arlene, what are the implications for Peter Robinson? Well, Peter, we'll hear from him very soon, I think, mm. and uh, Peter will make his own mind up and will make his own direction, as he always does, and he always does what's good for the country and what's good for the party, and we'll hear from him very soon. Would you want to have the party leader not at Westminster? Well, the party and leader, he, uh, well, yeah. let me say this, media very much were targeting him in relation to double jobbing. We as a party felt that he should be at Westminster yeah. and in Stormont as well yeah. as First Minister. Uh, he is First Minister and will remain First Minister. It's an astonishing knockback. It is. It, look. It's very, very disappointing. It's hugely disappointing. This has been Peter's seat now for 31 years, mm. and uh, it's, it's hugely disappointing. I mean, we need hardly ask what the reasons are, but it must be connected to the scandals that have surrounded the family and the events of the last six months. Well, I do have to say that I think the party as a whole is performing very strongly from what I understand mm. in other constituencies. Uh, so this so is he has lost credibility. If the party is performing well and the leader loses a five, six thousand majority by some 1,500 votes, so in fact he's, he's down even more than that, Look, Surely he has to th think about his position. Look, Noel, there has been a very specific campaign waged against Peter, and you know that that is the case. And unfortunately, uh, uh, it seems as if now uh, the people of East Belfast have been listening to that propaganda, and as a result of that, here uh, we are this afternoon. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth. Yep. The returning officer for the Belfast East constituency declared that the number of votes for each candidate at the election was as follows. Naomi Long, 12,839, 12839. Mary Muldoon, 365, 365. <clears throat> Niall O'Donnell, 817, 817. Trevor Ringland, 7,305, 7,305. Peter Robinson, 11,306, 11,306. David Vance, 1,856, 1,856. There were 124 rejected ballot papers, and I declare that Naomi Long has been elected to serve in Parliament for the East Belfast constituency. So... Those figures then again, uh, Peter Robinson. Now, we are working on adjusted figures. I should explain that because of the boundary changes, some of these figures that we are working on and all the major news agencies are working on are, are different from the actual figures from 2005. So, so he's lost 11% of his vote from last time. So just looking at these figures, 12839 for Naomi Long. Now, the Alliance Party last time out got something... got. 12% of the vote, uh, that was uh, 3746, but uh, adjusted. Oh, let's, just hear, let's hear Naomi, let's, let's hear from the woman of the moment in East Belfast. And I see this as a victory for the Alliance Party and a victory for the people of East Belfast. I want to represent them with the same hard work and diligence that I have done since I was first elected to represent them nine years ago. I want to thank those who were in this campaign alongside me.